Hi, everyone. Welcome to our first day of our 21 day meditation challenge. I'm so excited <laughs> to be here with you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for showing up for yourself and and for this journey um, we are all doing together. So I'm just lighting a little bit of um, a little bit of Sai Baba incense, which I love. My mom and I used to meditate with this when I was in my early 20s, and it always reminds me of her. So it's one of my ways of calling in her and my grandma, my sister. So I just invite you to invite your ancestors and relatives into your meditation time with you. So I'm going to set that aside. And then I also have a little bit of sweet grass. Since this is the first day of our challenge, sweet grass brings in the new, brings in the energy of the East, which is new beginnings. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to let that get a little bit of, a little bit of heat on it. Wow, that is really taking a minute to light, isn't it? There we go. Kind of like that with meditation sometimes, huh? Sometimes it takes a minute to get things going. <laughs> we have to be patient with ourselves. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, there we go. Sweet grass, if you have any smudge there with you, go ahead and smudge your space and Ready to go for you. Just set that aside. All right. I'm just going to light a candle. With this candle, we're just going to set an intention of bringing in joy, bringing in consciousness and awareness. You can light a candle with me if you'd like in your space. I like to light candles when I when I meditate. So this is a big one. <laughs> um, sometimes I'll leave these burning for days because it's safer in the glass like that. But um, <clears throat> it also just reminds me of Ajila Ikohita, which is our sacred fire, eternal flame, that heart space energy that we want to cultivate um, with our meditation time. So the intention of this 21 days of meditation is to set um, a routine, to set a, um, you know, a habit and to really be mindful of how meditation uh, changes the way we do life every day. Um, I like to do mine in the morning and in the evening. <clears throat> But for this challenge, I'm just asking you to do one a day um, at whatever day is, whatever time of day is most convenient for you. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get us started here. We're just gonna jump right in. All right, so we're gonna just get yourself into a comfortable position and we're gonna start with just focusing on our breath. Nice deep breath, a slow controlled exhale. Belly button to spine. And again, nice deep breath. And slow, controlled exhale. Slowing down your breath even more. Belly button to spine. And one more nice deep breath. Slow, controlled exhale. Belly button to spine. And then grounding your energy deep into the earth, choosing one of those layers of the earth, either the dirt layer or the stone layer or the water, the aquifers or the fire molten lava layer. And just feeling yourself deeply connected to the earth, just letting out any excess energy that you might have, just letting it go to the earth. Mother Earth knows what to do with it. 
and then drawing up whatever element feels helpful to you. Drawing up the earth, the dirt, drawing up the stone, drawing up the water, drawing up the fire, and settling back into your body. And again, taking a nice deep breath and slowing down your exhale even more, pulling all of your energy back into your body from the day, from the night, from the morning, from wherever you've been, of all the busyness and all the people and all the responsibilities and all the things, just calling them all back in. And again, just sending down that energy down to the earth, just releasing any toxic energy, releasing any busy energy, any, any anxiety type of energy. The earth knows how to recycle that energy into something useful. And again, nice deep breath. And slow controlled exhale. Settling back into your body. And next we're gonna create that tube of white light all around your body. I'm gonna send that tube of white light all the way down to the earth, all the way up to the star nations. And inside this tube of white light, only divine love exists. And I imagine it like this milky white substance that just fills and permeates this tube of white light from the center of the earth all the way out into infinity. And then I breathe it in to every cell of my body, just like an infant in a womb. <clears throat> and from here, I invite you to call on your ancestors, spirit helpers, angelic realms, ascended masters, whoever it is that you call on when you pray or meditate and ask them to come and help you, help guide you on this journey to help support your meditation time, but also to help keep you conscious and awake during the, throughout the rest of the day when you're not meditating that you might be able to access the same level of energy and consciousness as when you are meditating, but throughout the entire day. And we can integrate everything that we do during meditation time into our daily lives. And we're gonna take a nice deep breath and slow controlled exhale. Grounding your energy deep into the earth Settling back into your body. Just feeling yourself very calm and centered and bringing your awareness to your heart space. For this meditation, we're gonna be focusing on our heart space and just opening to receive opening to receive divine love, opening to receive divine guidance, opening to receive the energy that we need to move throughout our day to act with kindness and patience and love with our family members and our friends. <clears throat> And again, nice deep breath. Slow, controlled exhale. Belly button to spine. Grounding that energy deep into the earth. Settling back into our body. 
Returning your awareness back to your heart space. And I really am going to invite us to sense into our heart space, sense into what our purpose here is in this lifetime. Don't, don't go back into your head. Don't overthink it. Just feel into it. Feel into what brings you joy. Feel into what naturally guides you to want more of something. Whether it's a group of friends that you like to share time with, whether it's your animals, whether it's a hobby that you have, or maybe it's a certain type of helping others. Maybe it's just peaceful alone time. But really sit and contemplate on what brings you joy. Because whatever it is that brings you joy is a great place to start to open your heart space. It's also a wonderful place to return when we get into those moments where we feel stuck or we feel like we've gotten to a place where we're too busy or too burdened and we have a hard time accessing that heart space. We just always need to tune back into our joy, find something that you love to do. Give yourself permission to do just even 15 minutes of it. Even 15 minutes is enough to remind us how to love again. So opening our heart space and staying connected and centered here helps us avoid that spiritual narcolepsy of falling back to sleep and saying unkind things or doing unkind things to ourselves. This is the place where we can stay balanced, centered, peaceful. I'd like you to imagine from this space, just sending gratitude and adoration to your spiritual helpers, to your spirit team. We're always opening to receive love from them. Sometimes we forget to just beam love to them. And so I like to sit in and just honor where we came from, who's always around to help us, who's always trying to remind us to stay awake, to stay loving, to stay kind, to stay centered. And to follow our joy. We say thank you to our spirit team. We start this meditation cycle with gratitude, with adoration, with honoring the spiritual part of us from where we came. It's really all of us. <laughs> It's really all of who we are, but from our little human perspective, it feels like just a part. But as we grow and meditate and develop our consciousness and our awareness, we begin to realize that we are a spiritual being having a human experience, not the other way around. And it probably would do us good to remember that. Settling deep into your body. I want you to imagine all of the things you either have to do today or all of the things that you have already done today. And I want you to send that same gratitude and that same amount of love into those activities, qualifying your day with love, with divine momentum, if it's the end of your day and you have things that have happened today that weren't for your highest choice or highest good, go ahead and send love to them anyway and ask spirit to re-qualify those experiences with love and understanding and awareness. Give yourself permission to re-qualify all of the energy in your body with love, with gratitude, with patience, 
intention. And feel confident that you can go into your day or into your sleep time feeling balanced, feeling protected, feeling guided and safe, and excited to move forward in the spiritual journey. And recommitting daily to this practice. I send you off with blessings for your day, for your sleep, and thank you so much for joining. Have a wonderful day or evening. <laughs>